Good morning and it's another beautiful morning on the creek. Um, I'm Susan Jane and I'm the Intuitist. And today I wanted to talk to you, or this morning I wanted to talk to you about the differences between our physical and our spiritual body. Now, it's well known now that people understand that we do have the two aspects of ourselves. The physical side, which is obviously temporary, we will last how long we last in this earth, and our spiritual side, and that's that um, eternal side. The spirit side is the area that just continues to go. So once it leaves this body, it will eventually reincarnate into another body. So our spirit side is the eternal side that they talk about in the Bible and um, in that aspect. So I wanted to go a little bit deeper into that for you. Now, I am, I don't follow any religious... Sorry about the birds. <laughs> I don't follow any religious doctrine. <laughs> um, yeah, I just love it here. I don't follow any religious doctrine, um, any organised church or follow anything like that. But I do have a strong belief that there is a the big connection there. So, <laughs> when they've settled, <laughs> glass, um, when they've settled, um, yes, I believe there is that bigger, bigger spiritual connection for us. So what I see is, or what I believe, is that our, the spirit comes into the physical body because the spirit needs to learn. Now, as you can imagine, as the spirit's coming into the physical body, the spirit cannot, has no access to the five physical senses that we have. So spirit can't feel, like as in touch. Ooh, that was a beautiful one. Um, oh, that was my big eagle. Um, the spirits can't feel, or touch, I should say. They can't taste. Uh, they don't experience the five physical senses that we experience. Therefore, spirit needs to come into the physical body to understand those physical aspects. But the spirit body knows. And this is this knowing that we get from our intuition. So the spirit body knows. It has experienced the physical aspects because of its continuous uh, reincarnations. So as it's incarnated into a body, it will learn those physical aspects from that body. We'll learn that understanding, we'll learn those areas and elements they need to learn. Oh, they're looking really good. I haven't seen all them before. And they will take that on board. Isn't that beautiful? They will take all that on board and get that understanding of it. A little bit distracted this morning. <laughs> so, um, the, obviously the spirit is, is sitting there for want of another word and goes right this is the new, next lesson you have to learn and that comes into incarnation my partner has experienced that very very clearly he remembers very clearly having the choice of three bodies to go into and what he was going to learn and get that understanding of so that's something you can talk to him about so there is a, a very di distinct um reasoning why the spirit body comes into the physical body now when it's in here it needs to learn when the spirit is in our physical body it is learning its um, lessons for want of another word and the thing is we also as a physical body are learning our lessons we we're learning the logic side of it we're learning to cope with um, the different environments that we live in, the different aspects that we go through, the different things that we experience. We're coping with that in a physical realm and then the spirit is dealing with it in the spiritual realm and the way the spirit connects with us or the way it sends the information to us and gives us our guidance and our knowing is through our emotions. 
And that's where the intuition is. Intuition is this information. It's not only through our emotions, but emotions is the strongest area of it. Now, when the spirit body is giving us this information, we can get it in different ways. So we do get it emotionally, we can get it physically, we can get it mentally, and we can get it visually. So we're getting all these signs and all these, um, this all this information, and it's the, the information is coming to us, and it's up to our intuition or up to our spirit to inform us, to in, in, inform us of this information to show us basically to get us into the right spot to get us to do that and the spirit body does that again through the emotions that's where intuition and emotions are so so important they're basically one of the same except intuition there he goes again intuition is actually the it's it's the delivery it's no it's not even the delivery intuition is what we call it um, but how we receive it is we receive it in different in different ways. So it's it's a process. That's what I'm trying to say. Intuition is the process of delivering that information. And when you break down the word intuition, it is broken down into uh, tuition, which is teaching, guiding, um, supporting that side of it. And because it's in, it's from internal. So it's the intuition is our internal guidance. It's our t internal guidance systems to help us get to where we need to get to so that is why that is why um, intuition is so important to us and, and that's what the understanding is it's our spirit body our spiritual guide helping us get to where we need to be so there's lots of ways we can help develop that and I go through that into different into different areas but I just wanted to get that understanding. Your spirit body lasts forever. It, it will reincarnate. Your physical body doesn't. It's got a time frame. Your spirit body can't touch, taste, see but it knows. Your spiritual body knows. Your physical body does the touching, the tasting. The, the physical body is the logic side of our thinking. The, the uh, intuition, the spiritual side is is more of the intuitive um, way of thinking. So it's that deep down knowing, that understanding. And why is it a deep down knowing? It's because it's spiritual. The other aspect is our emotions aren't always stored. We have some emotions that are stored in our body in certain areas, but most of our emotions, or the majority of emotions, are stored in our spirit. So why things will affect us is in, in ways we were really unsure of is because it's been reincarnated and it's held on to other emotions from other places. Um, and it has that understanding of it. So straight away you've got that knowing. And you've got that knowing through an emotional knowing. Um, or sometimes it's just a, I know, but I don't know why I know, but I know. So um, yeah, that, that's the, the difference between the physical body and the spiritual body. and. Um, we can't have one without the other. You've got to have both. You've got to have both. When people are in coma, it often means that their spiritual body has left. They're not there at the moment. Um, they come back or they don't. So um, I'll talk more about that, but they're the main reasons, the main differences between the physical and the spiritual and the reasons why. Because you would think if a, a spirit knows everything, why do they come to the physical body, into the physical realm? It's because there's always more to learn. And there's different areas to learn, there's different environments to learn in, there's different cultures to learn in, different, different um, aspects to learn in. And um, th that's the whole reason behind it. And I, sometimes I question, and, and I only thought about it the other day, but I do question um, our gender, how, how genders are starting to sort of mix. And I'm wondering if that's because of all the uh, the spirit going from, you know, over the, the generations and generations, but the spirit reincarnating to male and female, um, and we start to get the gender blender. Oh, blend. oh, that sounds ridiculous. The gender blend. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's, that's another aspect that I'd look further into. But for now, that's the difference between your physical and your spiritual, and um, why it's so important to... Uh, be in touch with your emotions because that is your spiritual guide very very strongly okay my name's susan jane have a lovely day um, and i hope you enjoyed this morning's talk
All the best. Bye for now.